Hey there friends. We are gonna work again to get today with story problems. We're gonna work through this one together. <clears throat> Excuse me. This says, Jan read nine books. Sam read four books. How many more books did Jan read than Sam? Now, I'm gonna read it again and I want you to listen for important words. Now, important words are going to tell us whether we are ad adding or subtracting. So be listening to the words and what the words are trying to tell us, okay? Here we go. Jan read nine books. Sam read four books. How many more books did Jan read than Sam? Well, we know that the numbers are gonna be important. I'm gonna go ahead and circle nine and four. Those are the numbers. Those are gonna be important when we go to uh, answer our story problem. When we go to make a um, number sentence, those are gonna be very important. Also, very important is we need to know whether we need to add or subtract, okay? Now, remember, addition is when you're putting two numbers together, okay? Subtraction is used when you have a big group of something and you take something away, or when you're comparing two things. When you're comparing two things, and want to know how many more of something. Okay, so let's read it again and try to think if we're going to add or subtract. Jan read nine books, Sam read four books. How many more books did Jan read than Sam? Right here, how many more books did Jan read than Sam? We are comparing the books Jan read and the books Sam read. The story wants to know how many more Jan read than Sam. So what we're going to do is subtract. We're starting with the biggest one. It says how many more did Jan read? So Jan goes first. Jan read nine books. We subtract when we're trying to compare two things. Jan read nine books, Sam read four books. So it would be nine minus four. And then we put the equal sign. And then over here, we're gonna put our answer. But first, I'm gonna draw a picture. I'm gonna draw a picture of how I would try to figure this out, okay? I'm gonna draw a picture of nine books. Okay, just a quick, quick picture. I'm just gonna do dots, like, you know, I like dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I'll stick this one over here, nine. Okay, we still in frame, I think. Here we go. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That whole line right there is Jan's books. I'm going to put a J next to Jan's row. Now, I'm going to make a row of Sam books, but when I'm drawing these dots for the books, I'm going to put them right underneath one of Jan's, okay? How many? Four. One, two, three, four. The reason I put Sam's books right below Jan's books is so that I could tell that these are the same. If they are the same, if they have the same amount, I'm not going to count those. The only thing I'm going to count is the difference or how many more books Jan has than Sam, not how many they have the same. So that's the same. I'm going to cross it out. That's the same. That's the same. That's the same. This right here is the amount that Jan has more than Sam does. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is count them. One, two, three, four, five. So the answer to how many more books Jan has than Sam is five right here. Here is our number sentence. Nine minus four equals five. Okay, good job.